The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to his disciples, The kingdom of heaven is like a net thrown into the sea, which collects fish of every kind. When it is full, they haul it ashore and sit down to put what is good into buckets. What is bad, they throw away. Thus it will be at the end of the age. The angels will go out and separate the wicked from the righteous and throw them into the fiery furnace, where there will be wailing and grinding of teeth. Do you understand all these things? They answered, Yes. And he replied, Then every scribe who has been instructed in the kingdom of heaven is like the head of a household who brings from his storeroom both the new and the old. When Jesus finished these parables, he went away from there. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise be Jesus and Mary. Today's first reading comes from the prophet Jeremiah, and he talks about clay in the potter's hands. And that's what we want to be like in the hands of God. We want to be as docile as clay so that God, the master craftsman, can form us into the saints that he wants us to be. So we should be striving to be docile to God's grace and his inspiration, how he leads us and guides us through this world. And that's exactly what St. Alphonsus Liguori did, the saint that we celebrate today, cooperating with the graces of God, becoming a priest. Well, at first he was a lawyer in the world, but then uh, having been so... Uh, disappointed with the injustices that he was dealing with as a lawyer. He said, forget it. I'm done with this, and I'm going to become a priest and work for the salvation of souls. And so he became a priest and eventually was consecrated a bishop. And just as the saints are known for some particular virtue or some particular work, and are sometimes given a title, especially the doctors of the church. St. Alphonsus, he became a doctor of the church. He is known as the most zealous doctor, Doctor Zelantissimus. And that's because of his zeal for souls, the salvation of souls. How did St. Alphonsus develop this zeal for souls and dedicate all of his time, his effort and his prayer and pastoral ministry to the salvation of souls. Well, one way is by meditating on the gospel, meditating on the word of God. Today's gospel, what do we read? We read, the angels will go out and separate the wicked from the righteous and throw them into the fiery furnace. This is not private revelation. This is public revelation from the, word, from the mouth of Jesus Christ. He has revealed to us not everything, but some things. And he has revealed to us that this is going to take place at the end of the age, that is, on the last day. What's going to take place? The angels will go out and separate the wicked from the righteous and throw them into the fiery furnace. That's a big deal. Now, those words will go in one ear and out the other if you don't take time to meditate on it. And that's what St. Alphonsus did. He would meditate on these things. He would study. What have the saints who have gone before me said? What have the fathers of the church said? And we have one of the homilies of St. Alphonsus Liguori in which he mentions this passage. This was one of the homilies that he gave during Advent. And this is what he says. Then the angels shall come and separate the reprobate from the elect, placing the latter on the right 
and the former on the left. Oh, how great will be the confusion which the unhappy damned shall suffer. What think you must be the confusion of the impious when, being separated from the just, they shall be abandoned? Notice, he's just fleshing out what our Lord had said. This punishment alone would be sufficient to constitute a hell for the wicked, when brother shall be separated from brother, husband from wife, and son from the father. That's how you become zealous for souls, is by meditating on the gospel, on the word of God, and allowing the grace of God then to enlighten your mind further and to inflame your heart. And so it's from this type of meditation that you become zealous for souls, that you decide to dedicate more time to prayer, that you become more generous in making sacrifices and fasting for the salvation of souls. And maybe, like St. Alphonsus, maybe you actually become a priest or a religious in order to dedicate your entire life more directly to the salvation of souls. St. Alphonsus Liguori, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.